Seamanship, the ship as a job site. At the end of this module the students will be able to identify the different personnel in a cruise ship. Describe the difference between a cruise ship versus any other ship. Explain how cruising works. Unit Topic A. Components of seamanship B. Classification of shipboard personnel C. The departments Fun and interesting facts The Three Sisters United, a historical union In the afternoon of November 4th in Cape Town Royal Caribbean Internationals, Oasis of the Seas, Allure of the Seas and the New Harmony of the Seas, all lined up at sea off the coast of Florida for the first and perhaps only time in celebration of the arrival of Harmony of the Seas at its new homeport of Port Everglades in Fort Lauderdale. The newest and youngest of the three ships, Harmony of the Seas, officially claimed the title of world's largest cruise ship after beating her two Oasis-class sisters with nearly 1,700 gross registered tons. A. Components of seamanship Seamanship, is the art or skill of handling, working, and navigating a ship. According to Merriam-Webster Dictionary, being the next second result right after Wikipedia. Navigation, is totally not going to be your job unless you shift to a course that focuses on navigation. So much for that, let's proceed to our business. Know your place, a phrase we hear often times, but in this case, as early as today. It will play a very significant role in your life and future. If you are planning to work on a cruise ship then you should know this. The cruise line business is divided in several organizations which are all equally important as to their purpose and functions. Imagine, after four years of struggle and hard work, it finally paid off. You can now post on Facebook those long messages, for you are entitled to it. Because you are now a graduate, applause. Then you decided to pursue your dream of working in a cruise ship. Obviously, you will not go to Manila Bay to wait for a cruise ship to sail by so you can submit your resume. Because there is a specific group who handles those type of transactions for the cruise business has two main organizations. The shore side team or the head office and the shipboard team or the ship's team. The shore side. 1. Human resources. 2. Information technology. 3. Finance. 4. Sales. 5. Marketing. 6. Public relations. 7. Legal. 8. Operations. Shipboard. 1. Deck. 2. Technical. 3. Purser. 4. F&B. 5. Housekeeping. 6. Entertainment. 7. Revenue areas. 8. Medical. Different cruise lines have different organizational structures, positions and even functions. Depending on the requirements of their facilities. Target market and several intervening factors which may affect the structure in terms of design and operation. Cruise ships, unlike any other vessel, possess a more dynamic and diverse set of personnel, responsible of providing you a noteworthy experience. Classification of shipboard personnel. The shipboard. Like in any other vessels, we are subconsciously entrusting our own lives to one specific person. The commander-in-chief of the ship. None other than the captain. It will be really smart to keep him off the bar during the entire voyage. Let us get to know him more. Captain. The captain is the highest ranking officer on the ship with the most perks, it definitely pays to be captain. However, this title comes with a lot of responsibility such as the care of all the crew and passengers aboard the ship. In cases of emergency the captain makes all executive decisions. Additionally, the captain is in charge of navigation and operations. Regulates company policies, environmental policies such as pollution effects as well as national and international maritime laws. The departments. The shipboard is commonly divided into three departments which all reports directly to the captain. 1. The deck department, staff captain. 2. The engine department, chief engineer. 3. The hotel department, hotel director. Staff captain. 
This is the captain's executive officer, in charge of the medical and deck department's safety and order. After the captain the chief officer is second in command in the decision-making process. This role assists the captain with all duties including the overall welfare of the crew and passengers on board the ship. Chief Engineer Responsible for the logistics and maintenance of the technical operations on board. Responsible for the overall management of the main and auxiliary engines. Other areas in the chief engineer's areas of responsibility is the generators. Electrical systems, air conditioning, heating, plumbing, ventilation and refrigeration systems. Hotel director. Hotel operations oversees the departments of guest services, F. Food and beverage, and housekeeping. The largest department is the food and beverage department followed by the housekeeping department. Some cruise lines also include the entertainment department within hotel operations. The deck department. The deck department is responsible for the navigational safety and integrity of the vessel. In addition to navigation, our deck department must also ensure that all life-saving and firefighting equipment is ready and properly working at all times in accordance with international laws and regulations that our ships have to abide by. All crew safety training is coordinated through the deck department. The deck department is also responsible for the security of the vessel as well as the overall maintenance of the ship's exterior surfaces and open decks. The engine department. The engine team is duty-bound to ensure that all of the ship's main systems are working and maintained at all times. Although the engine team is primarily responsible to keep the ship's power plant and propulsion systems running at all times. Their other critical role on board is to ensure all of the ship's firefighting and safety systems are working at all times. For each of the thousands of marine professionals across the fleet who help to optimize the efficiency and operation of these vessels, which consistently exceed all environmental regulations, the safety of guests and crew is their utmost priority. The Hotel Department Service and hospitality positions are some of the most important jobs in the working model of a cruise ship. Jobs in the service and hospitality arena have been split into four subcategories. Housekeeping. Hotel administration. Food and beverage. And purses. Housekeeping positions make the ship home away from home for the guests on board. Members of this team are responsible for the upkeep of the ship and guest living quarters. Hotel administration staff positions are very much like those in a hotel or resort on land. Members of this team usually have previous work experience in the area. With responsibilities that include ensuring the accommodation of the passengers is on par. With the ship's high standards as well as taking care of the needs of the guests. Food and beverage workers usually enjoy hefty tips to compensate for slightly lower salaries. It is an excellent venue to break into the industry and can be a formal semi-formal or causal working environment depending on the events a worker is asked to staff. Purses, or those working in the accounting department manage the accounts of the passengers. Exchange currency for guests and are responsible for basic accounting. Below, are detailed descriptions of the jobs in these categories and the requirements of each. Also listed are basic salaries, meant to be used as a reference of the earning potential for each job. Most jobs include generous benefits and room and board is included. An important consideration when reviewing listed salaries. Classification of shipboard personnel. Hotel director. The responsibilities of the hotel manager are many. This person works closely and reports to the captain about the state of the ship. Training and supervising hotel staff, working directly with guests to field questions and concerns all fall under the role of hotel manager. Most importantly the hotel manager works hard to ensure the quality of the ship's environment is on par with the standards of the cruise line. Compensation for a hotel manager is $4,000 to $5,000 a month dough. Chief Purser The chief purser is an important role on board a cruise ship. A person in this role acts as an on-board accountant, managing members of his, her staff and delegating responsibility. All revenues made on board, as well as payroll, staff visas and passports, passenger safety boxes. 
currency change, details involving immigration and customs. And passenger credit accounts all fall under the responsibility of the chief purser. Compensation for a chief purser is $3,000 to $5,000 a month though. Purser staff. Members of the purser staff are trained and well-versed in immigration and customs laws. And are responsible for the ship's documentation when traveling. They also handle passenger accounts, ship revenues and other financial matters on board. They must be excellent with customers because they are often dealing in customer service. Fielding questions and complaints with sensitive financial issues. Compensation for a member of the PERSA staff is $1,000 to $2,000 a month. Receptionist. Receptionists check passengers in and out during arrival and departure. They settle accounts at the end of the cruise and field questions and complaints. Compensation for a receptionist is $1,800 to $2,400 a month. Bellman. Bellman typically acts as a valet and aid passengers with moving and arranging their luggage. They often need to have a large knowledge of the cruise ship in order to answer questions and give appropriate directions. Compensation for a bellman is $1,000 to $1,500 plus tips. Housekeeping department. On board a ship is responsible for the daily maintenance of the passengers' cabins and taking care of the laundry and dry cleaning requirements of the passengers and the crew. Job positions in the housekeeping department include of chief housekeeper, assistant chief housekeeper, floor supervisor, head steward, cabin steward, laundry supervisor, bell staff, and cleaner, chief cabin steward. The chief cabin steward is responsible for the work of the other cabin stewards. Evaluating the quality of their work and maintaining a high standard among his her workers. The chief cabin steward is a leadership role and works directly with the head housekeeper as well as maintaining the cleaning responsibilities of certain cabins on board. Compensation for a chief cabin steward is $2,000 to $2,500 a month plus tips earned. Chief steward, housekeeper. The chief steward or housekeeper concerns him, herself with the state of cleanliness on board the ship. Overseeing cleaning staff, maintenance equipment, supplies and the quality of work completed are all responsibilities of the chief steward, housekeeper. Room services, bell service and cabin service also fall under the responsibilities of the chief steward, housekeeper. A person in this role reports to a supervisor, typically the hotel manager. Compensation for a chief steward, housekeeper is $1,600 to $2,400 a month though. Cabin steward. The cabin steward is responsible for cleaning a certain number of rooms on board the ship. This includes changing sheets, windows, bathrooms, floors etc. In some cases the cabin steward is responsible for cleaning public areas, which can include conference rooms and banquet halls. Compensation for a cabin steward is $1,000 to $1, $5,000 a month plus tips. Laundry staff. Members of the laundry staff wash, dry, and dry clean the laundry they gather from different areas on the ship. Compensation for a laundry staff member is $700 to $900 a month. Food and beverage department. Responsible for everything which concerns food and beverages all aboard the cruise ships and takes care of all dining and whining requirements of the passengers. Job positions in this department include Food and Beverage Director Assistant Food and Beverage Director Restaurant Manager Head Waiter Bartender and Steward Stewardess Food and Beverage Manager A food and beverage manager oversees the areas of the ship where food and beverages are served. Ordering in bulk, the food budget, calculations and costs on a large scale, working closely with other members of the kitchen staff and the quality of food on board are all the responsibility of the food and beverage manager. Compensation for a food and beverage manager is $3,000 to $4,000 a month. Dining room manager. The dining room manager oversees the service of the dining room and responsible for delegating and assessing the quality of work of the wait staff. 
Compensation for a dining room manager is $2,600 to $4,000 a month though. Maitre d, hotel. The maitre d, on a cruise ship is a very important position on board. The maitre d, offers the best quality dining service to passengers as is possible. Thus, the maitre d, trains the staff in correct serving techniques and high serving standards. He, she supervises the quality of the food and beverages to ensure they are up to standard. Compensation for a maitre d, is $3,000 to $3,500 a month though. Dining room, head waiter. The head waiter oversees the wait staff and assists them with their responsibilities. He, she leads by example and typically serves larger or VIP sections during dining hours and special events. Compensation for the head waiter is $2,400 to $3,800 a month depending on tips earned. Bar manager. The bar manager is responsible for bar schedules, inventories and for managing bar staff. Bar supply and costs are carefully overlooked by the bar manager and bar operations are closely managed to ensure things are running smoothly. Bar managers need to be sure all bartenders are appropriately dressed and know an appropriate number of drinks and cocktails sufficient for the demands of cruise ship passengers. Compensation for a bar manager is $2,000 to $3,000 a month though. Wine steward. The wine steward is the wine professional on board the cruise ship. He, she often answers questions about wine history, making, products and vineyards. He, she also makes suggestions about wines for the menu and can make personal suggestions based on the needs of the passengers. The wine steward is highly knowledgeable and must work well with passengers. Compensation for a wine steward is $2,500 to $3,500 a month though. Bar back. A person in the position of bar back must assist the bartender in maintaining stock within the bar and is responsible for the cleanliness of the bar. Bar back positions have great potential for job advancement promotion. Compensation for a bar back $1,200 to $2,000 dough and tips earned. Cruise ship bartender. Bartenders on board a cruise ship must be able to accommodate the drinking needs of a large guest list. This means having a large knowledge of popular drinks and how they are made. Bartenders must be friendly and socialize well with different groups of people. Maintaining the bar area and stock are also part of a bartender's responsibilities. Compensation for bartenders is $2,000 to $3,200 a month depending on tips earned. Cocktail server. Takes orders and delivers cocktails to the bar and lounge areas. Compensation for a cocktail server is $1,600 to $2,400 a month depending on tips earned. Buffet server. Buffet servers set up, stock and attend buffet lines on cruise ships. They also break down and help clean when meals change over. Compensation for a buffet server is $1,200 to $1,400 a month. Butcher. Butchers on board a cruise ship must make meat orders to comply for large meals. They are responsible for following sanitation codes and for ensuring the quality of meat is of high standard. Meat preparation is also included under the responsibilities of the butcher. Compensation for a butcher on a cruise ship is $1,200 to $2,000 a month though. Bus staff. Busboy positions require an attentive person who is responsible for clearing tables and assisting waiters and waitresses with drinks, bread and other aspects of table waiting. Busboy positions have great potential for job advancement. Compensation for a busboy is $1,200 to $1,800 depending on tips earned. Executive chef. The executive chef is responsible for nearly every aspect of food on board the ship. Ordering, quality control, disease and code regulations. Some cooking and food preparation as well as overseeing kitchen staff are all responsibilities of the executive chef. Compensation for an executive chef is $3,000 to $4,000 a month. Sous chef. A sous chef is an integral part of any functioning kitchen. A sous chef on a cruise ship works closely with the executive chef and prepares the food and the kitchen for the respective meals on board. 
compensation for sous chef is $2,500 to $3,500 a month doe. Chef de party. The chef de party must have a strong knowledge of fine cuisines and exotic foods. This person must also be able to organize menus for themed events and is also responsible for cooking and preparing these meals. The chef de party has a cooking staff to aid him, her in these responsibilities. Food displays and presentation are also the responsibilities of the chef de party. Compensation for a chef de party is $1,900 to $2,500 a month dough. Pastry chef. The pastry chef is responsible for baking and preparing the many pastries on board a cruise ship. In the case that the pastry chef has a staff, he, she would delegate and supervise responsibilities of those members. And all would be responsible for presentation and display. Compensation for a pastry chef is $1,900 to $2,400 a month dough. Baker. A position as a baker on board a cruise ship means preparing and baking the many pastries. And desserts served on board. Other kitchen duties are included and a baker reports to supervising kitchen staff for assignments and review. Compensation for a baker on board a cruise ship is $1,200 to $2,500 a month dough. General cook. A person in this role prepares and handles food for the cooking needs of the ship. The general cook reports to his, her superior. Compensation for a general cook is $1,800 to $2,000 a month. Gift shop manager. The gift shop manager staffs and schedules the gift shop. Inventory, ordering, stocking, displays, retail and good customer service are all responsibilities of the gift shop manager. Compensation for a gift shop manager is $2,500 to $3,100 a month. Gift shop sales assistant. This person assists the retail manager in his, her responsibilities. Staffing the gift shop, offering customer service, inventory, stock and retail are all included. Compensation for a gift shop sales assistant is $1,600 to $2,000 a month. It manager computer systems manager. A person in this role has different responsibilities each day. With the use of technology and computer systems increasing on a cruise ship. People with extensive knowledge of how they work and the ability to troubleshoot problems are in higher demand. The role of computer systems manager is one that ensures all computer systems and hardware on board are functioning properly. They would be in charge of managing an IT staff and would help implement new systems on board. Extensive knowledge and experience with computer systems is a must. Compensation for an IT manager is $6,000 to $7,000 a month. It's staff. Members of the IT staff are required to have a large knowledge of computer systems and troubleshooting. Implementing new systems and assisting the computer systems manager are also the responsibility of members of the IT staff. Compensation for IT staff is $4,000 to $6,000 a month dough. Program coordinator. The program coordinator works with members of the performing staff on scheduling. He, she also writes the daily newsletter and makes updates to the ship's intranet. Compensation for a program coordinator is $1,800 to $2,400 a month. Cruise department. The cruise staff department of the ship is responsible for arranging entertainment. And other recreational activities on board and ashore for the passengers. All cruise ships hire singers, dancers and musicians to entertain guests on board. For offshore activities and excursions, cruisers hire scuba diving instructors, golf instructors, port lecturers etc. Job positions in cruise staff department of ships include Cruise director Assistant cruise director Social hostess Scuba diving instructor Golf instructor Cruise staff Disc jockey Fitness instructor Port lecturer Gentleman host and youth activities coordinator cruise director the cruise director is the head of the entertainment department he she is in charge of planning and implementing all entertainment and recreational activities on board and ashore 
professional experience in the entertainment department on a ship or in a hotel is preferred for his position. Good public speaking skills and strong organizational abilities are a must for this poison. Fluency in English language is essential. Assistant Cruise Director Assistant's Cruise Director manages various day-to-day -day operations as directed by the Cruise Director. He, she assists the director in creating the daily programs. He, she also coordinates the cruise staff activity schedule. And can supervise and act as the master of ceremonies on the direction of the cruise director. Social hostess. Social hostess is responsible for conducting social activities on board the ship. He, she acts as a master of ceremonies at specific entertainment activities as directed by the cruise director. It's the social hostess that introduces the captain to passengers at the captain's cocktail party. Cruise staff. Cruise staff is responsible for organizing daily passengers' activities such as golf, diving, quizzes, bingo etc. Previous entertainment and hotel experience preferred. Fluency in English language is essential. He, she can be promoted to the position of the assistant cruise director after gaining the required experience. Port Lecturer Port Lecturers delivers lectures about the history and places of interest of various ports of call covered during the cruise holiday. To be eligible for this position, the applicant must be knowledgeable about all ports of call and give suggestions to passengers accordingly. Fluency in English language is essential. Golf Instructor Golf Instructor is responsible for teaching and playing golf with passengers. They also operate the onboard golf simulator. Prior experience in operating golf simulators is essential. Disc jockey. The position of disc jockey or DJ requires diverse knowledge and experience in music to entertain passengers of different tastes and age. Previous hotel or nightclub experience is preferred. Fluency in English language is essential. Fitness instructor. Fitness instructor is responsible for exercise and sports activities of passengers. A certification in fitness instruction along with a minimum of three months experience in teaching is required. Fitness instructors are required to conduct aerobic classes. Offer personal training to passengers as well as supervise the gymnasium. Fluency in English language is essential. Scuba diving instructor. Scuba diving instructor is responsible for planning and implementing the daily diving and snorkeling programs for the passengers. Certifications in diving and first aid are a must for this position. Youth staff, youth activities coordinator, youth counselor. He, she is responsible for organizing daily children's activities. Some prior similar experience is preferred for this position. Gentlemen hosts. Gentlemen hosts serve as dance partners and social hosts to single female travelers during ceremonies on board. Many cruise lines hire their services in exchange for free cruising. No salary is offered for this position but gratuities can be accepted. Thank you for listening.